Today, we try out the flip section method. Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, hi, my name's Courtney and I love doing all things wavy curly hair. I have been using tips and tricks from the Curly Girl Method for years now to improve the health of my hair. Honestly, for the longest time, I had no idea that my hair was wavy or curly. I just thought I had bad hair. You know, the hair that air dried frizzy and poofy with the odd bend and kink in it that I had to like blow dry or something in order for it to look presentable blow dry, blow fry, you know, into submission with a round brush, flat iron it, curl it, all the things. Turns out that is not the case. I just had waves and curls that I didn't know how to care for. Back in 2018, I started figuring out how to care for my hair. And here is this YouTube channel. <laughs> We have been having so much fun testing out different techniques lately. My most recent favorite has been Flip Coat Scrunch. If you have missed it, feel free to check it out. But today we will be going over the flip section method. I have recently had multiple people talk to me about this and I had seen it on the Instagrams and thought about testing it out. But more and more people are bringing it up and it looks really interesting, so today we will be trying it out. Full disclosure, my hair is fine, low porosity, and wavy. I believe this technique would work better on different hair types. You can see, I haven't even started doing it, and, and I'm already doubting myself, but everyone's hair is different. Different application techniques work best for different people, and that's why we're here, testing them out. I am sharing this experience with you in hopes to give you more information about how to care for your hair. All right, how long can I talk? Don't I look so good with my wet, clean hair? Also, I wanna take this moment to acknowledge that the skin softening effect on my camera is on. That was an accident. I was showing a friend how my camera could do that and I completely forgot to turn it off before I started recording this video. My apologies. Now back to the video. It's clean and it's wet and I haven't styled it yet because this is a styling technique. Okay, I thought before we get started, we would watch the flip section method technique from the creator herself before we attempted it together slash you watched me attempt it. Okay, so the creator of this technique's name is Sophie Marie. This is her Instagram page. She is adorable and hilarious. So if you're not following her, you totally should. Okay, so she's upside down. She raked in some curl cream. We've got three sections. She's using a brush and then a comb to divide the curl clumps. She's scrunching in gel. My kind of girl, thank you for using gel. <laughs> and shaking, scrunching. She's using her hand as the divider and she's using a brush with like boar bristles in it. It's also bendy, running a comb through it, scrunching in the gel, shaking the roots. Ooh, I like that technique for getting the hair unstuck from the back of your head. All right, diffusing, diffusing, and scrunching out the crunch with an oil. Oh my goodness, look at those curls. Oh yes, okay. So you can see that we're scrolling down. We're gonna look at the steps. So you rake in a curl cream on soaking wet hair, upside down, bristle brush creates juicy ribbon curls, comb to divide the sections, Shake roots, adjust the sections for density and thickness. All right, well, there we go. That looks pretty good. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So curl cream, rake it all through, brush, 
comb to really organize the curl clumps, separate the curl clumps, and scrunch in gel. I can tell you right now that my hair is not as wet as hers. It's not soaking wet. Hold one moment while I go wet my hair down, and then we'll be going in with, well, where'd it go? With a curl cream, this is not the curl cream, I'll grab that, <laughs> and a gel. Today I am using an all Innersense Organic Beauty lineup. This video is not sponsored. The reason I'm using this wash day lineup is because I have a basis of comparison for how Innersense looks in my hair when I use my usual upside down styling technique. And I have a basis of comparison for how Innersense looks in my hair when I style my hair right side up. So I've got like two styling techniques with Innersense that we can compare the flip section technique to. So I did wash my hair with the Pure Harmony Hair Bath and I conditioned with the Pure Inspiration Conditioner. Both of those are for the fine to medium hair types from Innersense. Okay, I'm gonna go wet my hair, hunt down the curl cream, and I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Nice soaking wet hair. I found the curl cream. I had the Volumizing Lotion, which is an Innersense serum product. I really do like it. But since I'm trying to copy the technique exactly, I'll be using a curl cream and a gel since that's what she used. I am getting soaking wet. Also, y'all are gonna need to see when I flip upside down to do this. I'm putting a towel on the floor because my hair is dripping everywhere, including on me. All right, here we are. I am grabbing the Quiet Calm Curl Control. And I'll be using about that much, which is what I normally use for my hair. And I'm not sure you can hear it, but my hair is dripping wet. I've got a lot, a lot of water in my hair right now. Typically, the more water you have in your hair, the better your curl clumps will form. The bigger, the juicier they will be. I have heard people say that this styling technique is like a good combination between brush styling and like just regular old scrunching, which is what I typically do. I'm not very good at brush styling. I have done it, but I'm not awesome at it. All right, now I'm gonna brush that through. And since she used a brush with boar bristles, I'm using the wet brush shine brush. I will have it linked down below. There we go. Now I'm going to attempt to section my hair. I've tried this before and I'm terrible at it. You gonna stay? All right, who is texting me? Why is someone texting me while I'm attempting to section my hair? Why do I have my phone with me while I'm doing this? That should be the real question. All right, so first, she gets a brush and I believe she brushed like this. Yeah but I'm gonna push the hair away from my face because I like to ignore the rules. No, because if I push the hair down like she did, I have a feeling I will really regret that. But now everything's stringy. It doesn't look like hers. Okay, fine. I'll follow directions, let's see. Yeah, that made everything clump together way better. All right, all right, fine. Then she takes a comb to organize and separate. Woo! Ooh, do y'all see that? 
That looks really good. Ah, oh no, they're clumping together, stop. Don't clump too much. Okay, now I'm going to get gel. I create hold. Ooh, this is convenient. I usually do about three pumps of gel when I use this stuff. I can use one pump for each section. Yay! All right, all right, here we go. Hopefully my sections are pretty even so that I get an even distribution of gel. Okay. So then she lets the next section down and lets her hand be the divider. So here we go. I don't feel like I'm getting a very good brush on this. This feels awkward. No, no, don't go in there. No, ah, I'm not keeping my sections. No. Okay, there. Keep in mind that the first time you try a styling technique doesn't tend to be the very best. Like, it takes practice no matter which styling technique you're trying. So, there's my two cents. Okay, now to flip right side up, she shakes the roots. And then she puts her fingers in her hair, kind of. And I'm gonna scrunch right there. Oh my goodness, this section is like trying to eat my face. This is why I brush the hair away from my face. Huh? Maybe I should have done that anyway. I don't know. All right. How is it looking, guys? How do the curl clumps look? Let me see. Also, yay, baby girl is almost here. All right. I'm going to go diffuse my hair and then I will be back to show y'all the final results. Alrighty, here I am. I've diffused my hair and then I let it finish air drying and now it's 100% dry. Would you believe I have not scrunched out the crunch yet. Sometimes when you use gel on your hair, your hair can get a little bit crunchy as it dries. And my hair tends to be really flat and stuck to my head when it's in the gel cast. But I have so much volume right now, like so much. I almost don't feel like I need to fluff, but because I fluff every time I do my hair, I will. Let me turn around and show you the back before I fluff it though. Like, look at this. This is pretty incredible for me. During this pregnancy, my hair has been quite elongated. My curl pattern definitely has stretched out from what it used to be. Isn't it fun what hormones can do to our hair? But I've got to say that <laughs> I'm really liking how this looks. Also, I found that the time I spent hanging upside down wasn't too bad. I haven't been able to wash and style my hair like I normally do. I've been playing around with a lot of upright styling techniques because of my belly. <laughs> but this was a very short period of time upside down. So this worked. All right, enough chit chat. I am going to fluff and scrunch out the crunch. The one thing I am gonna skip is sealing my hair with an oil. 
comment down below if you think that totally negates the purpose of this video because I didn't scientifically follow every single one of her steps. Let me know. The reason I am skipping it is that my hair just feels really good right now, very hydrated. I kind of like the fluff and the volume that I've got going on. And sometimes when I scrunch out the crunch with an oil, I go overboard with the oil. It's a problem. And then I'm kind of greasy. All right, I'm gonna fluff and scrunch to reveal the final result. Wow, it's getting even bigger. <laughs> Woohoo! I like big hair and I cannot lie. Oh no, 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 no. So much cringe. All right, guys, there's the final result. Let's take a full 360 look-see, shall we? Again, I can't get over how voluminous my hair is right now. If I had to make one criticism or critique, it's that my hair isn't as wildly defined as it has been in recent styling videos, <laughs> but I kind of don't care. That is the fun thing about using and implementing different styling techniques for your hair. You can kind of get different looks for your hair. And I kind of love this look. I feel very India Batson right now in like all the best ways possible. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Oh, before I go, a question I get often on these styling technique videos is how do they last? How do they wear? I think that depends wildly on you and your hair. For me, I haven't noticed that any of the styling techniques have had crazy, amazing longevity, more so than other styling techniques. So that's why I haven't been including like a wear test into these styling technique videos. They all kind of last the same amount of time. They really do. But my hair doesn't typically last very long anyway. As someone with a looser curl pattern, I get three to four days out of my hair. I cannot stretch my wash days seven days. I can't, I've tried. <laughs> I have not unlocked that curly girl secret yet. Have you? Again, let us know in the comments down below. All right, that is the last thing I wanted to say. I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day. Make sure you're subscribed so that we can hang out some more and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.